Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, I love talking about future products, especially when it comes to Toyota or Lexus models. And very recently, I have been talking about the next generation Lexus GX, likely to come out next year as a 2024 model year. So I am doing a three-part series on this uh, new Lexus GX. Part one was to do with exterior design and prediction of what that might look like. So if you haven't seen that video yet, please watch the part one first before watching this one, which is part two of the three-part series. This video here will deal with the interior predictions, including features and functions, and maybe even part of the design. And by taking you right into a 2022 Lexus GX that I have right now, I'm going to walk you through all things to do with the interior and make my predictions as to what's gonna happen with the interior of a 2024 Lexus GX. So let's get right into the vehicle and let me show you around. Okay, so I'm now inside the 2022 Lexus GX. Let's see if we can predict what the new version might look like in terms of the interior. They have updated the infotainment system and the center stack for 2022. So it's actually pretty good in terms of having the right kind of technology and features for this year. But the whole thing is still pretty outdated and we don't even have a wireless Apple CarPlay. We do have a wired version. But you know what? That's not good enough. So what's going to happen for 2024 Lexus GX? Well, if you're following closely with what they've done with the Lexus LX and some other models of Toyota lineup, we can predict a whole bunch of things. So first of all, I'm sure we will get a full digital cluster here, not analog mixed in with a little bit of a digital in the middle. We should get a full featured digital cluster with a variety of different information that we can scroll through and change the look and feel of the, of the actual instrumentation. And then in terms of the screen and infotainment system, we should get something similar to Lexus NX. So large 14 inch multimedia infotainment system should be standard. So this is actually pretty quick and pretty fast, but not big enough. So the new version should be at least 14 inch big and uh, with lots of features already built in because of a new Toyota Connected software. So that would be really welcome compared to what we have here. Uh, now I'm hoping that we're not gonna lose all these buttons uh, for radio and also for HVAC and temperature controls because I really like having physical buttons. Now, thankfully both the Land Cruiser as well as Lexus LX kept a lot of the buttons. So I assume that uh, they will keep at least the HVAC uh, controls and buttons and same thing for the radio um, hopefully it's not going to be all integrated into the infotainment system like in uh, tesla but that's always so awkward now this design is pretty outdated so we can expect something much fancier with maybe even a split design where we have one screen <clears throat> and maybe a smaller screen either on top or on the bottom a little bit like a lexus uh, lx but um, that's a little hard to say uh, most likely though it's going to be one 14 inch unit and then, uh, of course, the steering wheel will change. All this control will also change. Uh, and then things like the ventilation design and the overall look and the feel of the dash will also change because this is quite conservative looking. There's actually nothing wrong with it, functionally speaking, but it's just quite boring and not all that interesting, right? So this could look uh, a lot more interesting with a, maybe a floating design like we're seeing in many of the newer models where you have like a dual shelf. So something on top here and something else underneath. That's very possible. Uh, I don't think we'll lose the uh, glove compartment, uh, even though we lost that in some of the electric models like the Toyota BZ4X. And then the seats don't change that much lately. I know that many uh, of the newer models these days have kind of diamond stitching and much more fancier look. So maybe we'll adopt that a little bit like following the Lexus LX. But typically the shape of the seats don't have to change too much because really once you design a good seat, then it's good to go. So you don't have to change the shape of the seat radically. Just the surface will change. Um, I'm sure we will get much bigger sunroof than what we have here. This is your small standard traditional sunroof or moonroof. I'm sure we will have a full panoramic roof on the new model but this is just too small right now. In terms of grab handles and stuff like that, the GX currently already have grab handles on both sides, so obviously that's not gonna change. 
Uh, we have a pretty good system already in terms of stereo and uh, it should be improved quite a bit because on this particular one, again, the design is pretty outdated and they're going to have to improve the whole system to a newer version of the Mark Levinson. And who knows, they might even uh, come up with some other interesting features to really, really give the stereo and audio system a new meaning. Now getting into more practical things, right now we have a bit of an awkward situation with the uh, third seating for the GX because the third seat is just not all that comfortable and it's not a true uh, full-size three-row SUV. So hopefully that will change because we need a lot more space in the third row, something that's comfortable for a normal adult to sit over there. So that has to change as well. And then uh, hopefully we will have a lot more control in the back. So let me go to the back and show you what's happening here and make some more predictions. Okay, we are now in the back. I apologize, it's a little bit dark right now. Uh, the seats are actually quite comfortable in terms of second row of seat for the GX, but all these features need to improve. Right now, this is probably good enough in terms of a 2022 version, but the new model has to have a lot more luxury features. So I expect this whole center stack to change in the back. Maybe this will become also a floating design. Who knows, maybe it will be a four-seater versus a five-seater. Uh, if they really want to upgrade the model to offer that special feeling in, in terms of rear seating area. And then uh, the roominess here, which isn't too bad, needs to also improve. Because I expect the new GX to get bigger, longer, and wider. So hopefully we'll get a little bit more legroom here. And of course, the most important thing is to have more space in the back for the third seat, as I mentioned already. What else can I predict? Well, the door handle I'm sure will change because in the new Lexus NX, we have an electric uh, door handles right here where you press the button to get out. So that means we will likely have um, not the traditional door handle in the exterior, but the digital door handle where the door handle is fixed and you just touch it to open it. So uh, this is right now a normal door handle where you pull but the new version should be such that uh, there is a door handle, but you just touch the inside and this doesn't actually physically move and you open it. So that I'm sure will carry over to the new GX as well. Okay, what else can I say? Let's go back to the front for a second and let me talk about the powertrain.